everybody. Um, today is Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. Um, it's been about three weeks since we've all seen each other, and it seems like such a long time. And I know we all miss each other so much. I can't wait till we get back to school again. Um, so for today, I have a um, silly song that we can sing. Um, the children in Children's House 6 might, um, might remember it. We sing it sometimes. But we have to be a little silly. We have to stick our tongues out. So you can do this with me, okay? If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a rain that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ready? If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, Oh, what a rain that would be. If all the snowflakes were candy canes and cupcakes. Oh, what a snow that would be. Standing outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 If all the snowflakes were candy canes and cupcakes. Oh, what a snow that would be. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. That was a silly song. Okay, so I have a book today that I want to share with you. Some of you might know that I don't like to read books when the jacket's on it, so I always take the jacket off to read it. But I wanted to show you the cover because it has the title and an illustration on it. This is called Happy Dreamer, and it's written by Peter H. Reynolds. Some of you might know this author because he wrote the book The Dot and Ish. That I know some of you are familiar with. So you might already know this author. Happy Dreamer. I am a happy dreamer. I am really good at dreaming. Daydreams, big dreams, little dreams, creative dreams. Sometimes the world tells me to sit still, be quiet, pay attention, focus. So hard to do, isn't it? So hard. But my dreams have a mind of their own. Sometimes my mind just takes flight. I hear a beat and I've got to move. Then I hear another and another. Wish you could hear inside my head. Trumpety zigzag jazz. Sometimes I'm a quiet dreamer. When I make time to stay still, and hear myself think, to let go and see what takes shape, what can I see? Look at this picture. Do you see something in the clouds? I can see a horse and a sailboat. Do you see them? Do you know? Sometimes I like to do that. Lay on the grass and look up at the clouds on a nice, Sometimes I'm a swing high dreamer, way up high beyond the clouds, so high I can touch the sky. I can also be a loud dreamer. Hello world, I'm a shout out at the top of my lungs dreamer, even though I'm just loud inside my head dreamer. Sometimes I'm a colorful dreamer, painting my own path full of surprises at every turn. I can dream even when the lights are out. All circuits on, fireworks. I light up. I'm all ears, eyes, heart, and mind. I have so many dreams, it can get messy. Creative chaos. Cleaning up hides my treasures. If you make me, I will put my things away. But then there's less of me to show. These are the moments I feel alone, boxed in. And 
and yet I always find a way back, plunging into amazing, delightful, happy dreams. I'm really good at being me, a dreamer, surprising, caring, funny, gentle, smart. And when I tumble back to earth, I know I'm okay. Dreamers have a way of bouncing back and moving forward. There are so many ways to be a happy dreamer. What kind of dreamer are you? I hope you like that book. So I chose this book because I know right now we all might be feeling a little lonely or scared or angry, and we have lots of different feelings about our time at home right now. And things are so different, and we might not be able to do some of the things that make us a happy dreamer. But there are still so many ways that we can still be a happy dreamer. And remember, happy dreamers have a way of bouncing back. and and moving forward. So just always remember that. So right now I want you to think about how you can be a happy dreamer while you're home with your families. There are so many things that you can still do that make you a happy dreamer. So I want you to think about it and then draw a picture of how you can be a happy dreamer. It can be anything you want. It can be something that you dream and wish that you could do right now, but you can't do. Or it could be something that you can still do every day, even if we're home and not able to be doing some of the things that we love. So you can draw me a picture. And if you are a writer, you can write me a little story about what you can do to make yourself a happy dreamer. And if you are not a writer with words, you could be a writer with pictures. So you can draw just a picture. You can have your mom or your dad or a big brother or sister help you write the words, or you can just write a picture and that's okay too. We are all writers. So I want you to think about that. And I would really hope that some of you might share them with us. Um, we love to see pictures of all of you doing some of the great work that you've all been doing. So you can email them or send them off to, um, to me or to your teacher. Um, and we would love to see it and share it. Um, but in the meantime, I um, want to say goodbye. And I will see you all so soon, I hope. And you will have a message tomorrow from, um, from Sue. So you can look forward to being another children's house teacher tomorrow. So I hope you have a great day and do some fun things with your family. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye. We love you and we miss you. See you soon.